How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and, uh... Oh, this? This is just my rank 5 Ghost Rider that we're going to ascend today. And, uh, you know, do some gameplay on. So why? Because, um... I have Stark Enhanced Spider-Man at rank 3. I have Blade, who's going to be at rank 3 soon. And, uh... We need to, you know, we need to finish the, the, the trio. The, what are they? The only, the Trinity, the Trinity. We need to finish the Trinity. That's the word I was looking for. So let's go ahead and ascend him. Uh, and uh, take him into some content. Now, this is not going to be probably some high level content, but we're going to try it. Uh, and do I have any six stones? Like mystic six stones? I have 23. Um, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, secondary Ghost Rider gains. Oh, maybe it kind of helps. I guess I'll give him. I'll just give him what I have. There you go. You get twenty-three more Sig levels. Boom. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Oh, hey. Before we actually get started, um, thank you so much for the support on like the last five videos. They've been going kind of crazy, so I really appreciate all of you. Um supporting liking subscribing there's a lot of new subscribers uh so you know thanks for that and uh, i've been enjoying reading all your comments so uh yeah uh this is the gameplay you've been waiting for this is winter soldier versus ascended ghost rider so uh hold on you might get a little too excited here so let's see what he can do he's actually not uh hitting too bad so far uh so he has a few yawns he's at 6k mediums not bad. See if we can get to the special two before this runs out. The 10k medium. Please don't hold block. There we go. Almost. There we go. So when that fury goes away, he starts to hit like, um, you know, like 1k, 3k's. Uh, yeah. So in some of these hits, he's still hitting almost 6k. So I don't know. That fury, uh, I don't know. That fury does not seem uh too good but maybe i think uh, i don't know i think the uh the five hit combo thing i think that's is that what's increasing his attack rating by no no his his i don't know his sig ability is kind of uh confusing to me but uh anyways i'm pretty sure it just gives him that fury that's about it so now uh i did mess up i need to uh okay yeah i need to heavy sorry i'm talking too much heavy him boom we get the regen, we put on another uh, damnation on him, I think that's what those are called. And then it should convert into like a fury, and then after the fury, I'm sorry, a degen, and after the degen's done, um, we should be able to activate uh, our abilities again. And that's about it. Uh, he used to be like a really good Swiss army knife of a champion, and now he's just kind of uh, a little outdated. He's a little outdated. So see, it's gone. Now we should be able to build in a different way this time. So I'm gonna start with a special one, okay? And then because I have full health and I don't really need the health right now, I'm gonna heavy. Uh, because for each damnation, uh, the next damnation will last longer. So this bleed will last longer. And then what I want to do, if he doesn't power drain me, good, is throw this special one, I mean special two, so now we have four damnations on him with a really long uh, power drain. And now I want to uh, use my medium and get that fury. So this is probably the longest lasting fury you're gonna see on a Ghost Rider. Look at him. Oh, okay, now we have some damage. Now I have some damage after, you know, 70% through Winter Soldier, we have some damage. Come on now, please. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So uh, that's his rotation. I mean, sometimes he's hitting 2K, sometimes he's hitting 10K, sometimes he's hitting, I don't know, 6K, so. I don't know, let's special, let's special here. It's, let's see what we can do. He has 18%, and he did 28K there on the special three. You know, that's a champion for you. That is definitely a champion, um, for sure. So, and yeah, let's see, that's, that's, that's that. So what do we got? 148 hits in three minutes, but don't worry. I've already thought about this. Okay, that was with those synergies. We're gonna take him into some content that actually makes him usable, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's go to that now.
All right, so this is the team I came up with, and there's a lot of new champions that came out to help this guy. Um, so we have Legion of Monsters um, from Werewolf, uh, which basically gives him a 10% vicious passive, which will increase his damaging debuffs. Then we have Morbius, which uh, will increase, but we'll put a Torment on them, which increases uh, the the duration of the debuffs by 35 percent sorry uh then we have obviously uh blade who gives him 50 percent chance to place the judgment this is like whatever and then we have cosmic ghost rider uh where ghost rider uh increased fury buff duration by 100 percent so he's gonna have that fury for way longer with this team and we're doing this is actually the first quest uh in the uh event quest uh because this will buff him up this is not the right quest all right this is the right quest so um, yeah, so with this uh, node combination, he actually fits in. He is a, I believe he's a Thunderbolt or an Inhuman or something. So he has, he gets the tag, and all you have to do is alternate your combo enders, and you'll get Furies for it. And so yeah, I'm curious to see how this is gonna work with him. Uh, I'm pretty excited actually, because he was doing all right when I ran the first path without any of this stuff and without being ascended. So we'll see what he can do now. Uh, perfect first start here. We're just gonna start with the fury. We're, let's just start right away with the fury, and then put the bleed on. Those bleeds are taken for 2k now. Okay. All right. Let's let him cook. There we go. Another one. And we're a special two. That's not bad. See, he actually feels like a champion. Uh, he actually feels like a champion now. So, yeah. Here we go. I don't remember what I ended with. I ended with a light, I think. So I need to end, or medium, there we go. Nice. Nice, that, that felt like, yeah, that was pretty good. I just realized this whole path, wait, the first three fights in the path are cosmics, which is good for us. So let's just keep going. All right, so we got gore. So this will actually be a good challenge here. This will be a good challenge. So uh, obviously he can fate seal. So we're gonna try to do that. Uh, I'm gonna put the bleed on first. Then grab my Fury here so it lasts a little longer. And then Fate Seal this guy. And he gets no buffs no more. Sorry about that, buddy. Who says, who says Ghost Rider doesn't have utility? You know what I mean? I mean that's actually a pretty long Fate Seal. That's pretty good. And we're smacking this dude up. And I forgot to alternate my combo. So we could have been done way uh, a long time ago. Yo, he kind of he kind of tore that gore up. That gore didn't have a chance. All right, so in this fight, I want to show you his regen. So let's go ahead and build up a couple of these judgments. Maybe, there we go. Hit her a couple times here. Okay, I'm gonna let her hit me. Hit me a couple times, and let's, let's test out the regen. There we go. A little bit more, I think. Okay, okay, all right. Mm. All right, I'm gonna revive. <laughs> and then show you the regen, okay. We'll do it this way, whatever. <laughs> I swear, I use more uh, potions during like gameplays than I do anywhere else. Okay, so let's do that same thing. We're at 20%. Okay. Fury. We're gonna heavy. And I'll see how much he can heal here. So 1900 per hit, looks like. And then the great part about a special two is each hit on that special two also heals, which she couldn't see it because she got KO'd, but every hit heals there too. So that, he has probably one of the best healing mechanics in the game, honestly. It's just that he, uh, you know, is Ghost Rider. All right, I'm gonna use his uh, brother here uh, for this fight just to see uh, how it goes. So. See what a real Ghost Rider looks like here. There we go. Maybe? E -e what are you doing? There we go. And this is him. This guy doesn't benefit from the nodes at all, I don't think. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, and I didn't even do the rotation right. Um, yeah. He's just better. Okay, so going back to that healing mechanic I was talking about, the, the best part is it's not capped. You know, it's not like 
you know, you have to be under a certain amount to use it. Like Blade or um, who else has that mechanic? Like Iron Man, stuff like that. You can actually just use it on demand as long as you have that uh, judgment um, waiting for you. So boom, activate the healing and now I can heal again. So I can just uh, use it willy nilly as much as I want. Boom, go. And yeah, we just get to heal just from this. And then special two, and now we're back to 100% health. So, and it's really super easy to do. You just heavy the opponent. I mean, it is probably one of the best things about Ghost Rider. So, I don't know. Get some blade action in here. I think this is a skill node, so he should just be able to benefit from this. Um, it's like everyone else. Anti Venom is not a villain, by the way. I. Just discovered that just now. <laughs> I thought he was gonna proc the uh, the blade danger sense, but he definitely did not. Oh, he popped that off before. Okay. The special three makes me uncomfortable. All right, we got the boss. So this boss has um, sharp claws, I think, which basically means he'll inflict bleed on blocked hits. But guess what? We are immune to bleed. That is. That is some god tier utility. He's immune to bleed and incinerate. They buffed that. They added that incinerate immunity, I think, just last year. Um, so yeah, um, pretty pretty good. I mean, it doesn't make him too much better, but it does make him. It does allow him to take some more bites. So we'll take what we can get uh, as as you know, OG Trinity lovers here. Stark, Spidey, Blade, and uh, Ghost Rider. He kind of just is along for the ride because he. Uh, <laughs> He affects blade synergies too much. We kind of need him. We need these this guy, so you know. But yeah, on quests like this where I can use him, he's actually really decent. Like he uh, he went through this path like fine, like absolutely fine. So, um, in event quests, amazing. Now I know what you're all thinking, Sam. That's all good, but can he fight Serpent? And I want to know myself. So let's go ahead and grab him and see if he can fight Serpent. Can he do it? I think Serpent, is Serpent immune to like Fate Seal? I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out very quickly. Now obviously this is just, uh, you know, no health boosts or attack boosts on this guy. There we go. And there's no synergies right now on uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So this would, this is what he would be like in like Battleground. So, go. Immune, I think he's immune again to Fate Seal. Um, but we are getting our effects off and I have the healing so I can just heal off that guy Yeah, I think he's immune to fate seal So yeah, I went back up to 90% I mean, I don't know that could be useful I guess oh, oh god wait Wait, don't embarrass me in front of my for my subscribers. There we go outplayed uh, Can he fight him? Yeah um, can he fight him with nodes on? Probably not. Okay, but can he fight Maestro? Let's find out. So, we'll start with the Fury. Go. I want to see if the Fate Seal works on this guy. It does. It does work on this guy. Again, no nodes or anything, but he actually, you know, with the Fate Seal, that might... That's pretty good, and that's pretty good until Maestro gets up to like what 40 charges, and then they become passive. Um, but really, everyone struggles there. So, um, but once you run out on, on, a, on a node with you know three plus 300 percent health, um, you're gonna run out run out of your judgments, and then you're gonna just kind of hit like a wet paper bag till you get the special three, and then you can restart. So, you know this this looks good in a duel, but it really in reality is probably never gonna be like this. All right, y'all, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, I probably just showed you enough. Uh, you already know what it is. It's a Ghost Rider. He's not gonna be, you know, doing much except supporting in uh, my Stark Spidey and Blade synergies. Uh, but, you know, for what he is, it's pretty cool. Um, it's nice to have that ascension on his, uh, on his, next to his little PI. And I just want to kind of show you who we have. Uh, ascended now. I do have one more to use. Um, but you know, let me know your suggestions on who to ascend next, uh, who you want me to s want to see me ascend next. 
Um, I'm really open to anybody, but <laughs> I think I pretty much have most of the champions I want at rank five as six stars at least. Uh, Ironheart, I really like Ironheart. I'm thinking about investing in her, but she's a seven star, so it's kind of making it hard for me to decide. Um, oh, look, Gladiator Hulk. Forgot that was a champion. Um, so yeah, I mean, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the relic on him, by the way. Yeah, so I forgot to put the relic on him for this video, but um, honestly, for it being the Ghost Rider battle cast or relic, it doesn't really do much for him. Um, it adds re uh, degeneration vulnerability uh, and um, that kind of stuff, but um, it's not too much. And by the you know, Ghost Rider doesn't really have that until you're just trying to reset his abilities. It's nice to have for sure, but it's nothing that would um would make him like completely different but i would have liked to have that relic just to extend my combos sorry i forgot about that but anyways that's it for this video i hope you did enjoy uh, you know like comment subscribe that kind of stuff all right y'all take care